And if you combine all of those five things and you encourage the political leadership in this state and local level to be big and bold and to stick with it over the long haul, you will quickly see, and you will see over a sustained period of time, increases in learnings that would be the envy of a lot of places in this country. Imagine a South Carolina a decade from now where your graduation rate creates a crisis for higher education. I love that. I think that would be a pretty as good aspirational goal. Imagine the amount of money that the legislature would not have to spend on remediation because the K-12 system got it right to begin with and they could reinvest that into bigger ideas to assure that uh, the next generation has quality degrees. Imagine a system where teachers are, are, are rewarded as professionals, which they are, where great teachers are paid and they're respected because students are learning in ways that uh, defied the imagination or the possibilities of a, of a decade before. All of that is within your grasp, but it's not gonna happen by osmosis. It's not gonna happen just by wishing it to be. It's going to happen by grinding, grinding out laws to start with and executing on those laws and building a consensus around the importance of this where parents and the business community and the, and the folks inside the system realize that there is a better way. And finding that better way in a broad consensus kind of way will yield the kind of learning gains that will make uh, yet another way, another reason why South Carolinians are proud of their state. I hope that you're big and bold. I hope that you stick with this. And I hope that you make a difference. And as Senator Mint said in closing, when in our great country, our great system, we don't typically wait for people up on, you know, up on high to tell us how to do things. In our federalist system, great ideas are, are implemented in some place, and that creates kind of a competitive situation where another community sees how that's done, and they steal that good idea and build, maybe make it even better, and then some other place does the same thing. The good news is that in the United States today, that is happening all across the country. Liberals and Democrats and Republicans and conservatives all together are trying to change our education system in a way that will assure that the God-given ability of each, each student to do, it, uh, to do it right will continue. I hope that you become part of that process and become a model for other states to emulate. God bless you all and thanks.